Griffith at the tail of the tape for the final fight of the night here in Washington, D.C. There you see the age difference, 39-25, six feet is Jake Shields to 5'7 for Cooper. Both men weighing in right around 170. Two inch reach advantage and a two inch leg reach advantage for the veteran Jake Shields. This is it, the final fight of the night in the welterweight division. As we said, it inside the cage for the official fighter introduction. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live on NBC Sports from our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., USA. Here we go. Our final bout of the evening, Professional Fighters League. This is three rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a boxer, sitting five feet, seven inches tall. Weighing in officially 170 and one half pounds. His professional record in 18 bouts, 13 victories, and five defeats. Fighting out of Pearl City, Hawaii. Here is Ray Brother Boy Cooper. And next his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. His background, American Jiu-Jitsu. At six feet even, he too weighed in officially 170 and one half pounds. This veteran has 32 victories, nine defeats, one draw and one no contest. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, here is the former Strike Force middleweight champion of the world, Jay. Your referee in charge of the action, Mario Yamasaki. So this is it, the final fight of the night, PFL 3, coming to the nation's capital the week of the 4th of July. And this is very interesting as Ray Cooper III will fight his own fight, guys. Different than his father in the sense that he is a big, and I mean he will throw some big punches at Jake Shields. He's got to be very careful not to overextend himself. He's got to set those punches up and, and not charge into Jake too hard because Jake is great at changing levels and putting guys on the ground. And, and we've seen him time and time again against big strikers. Look at that little right hand by Ray. I'm not I didn't think he took him down. No. I don't think he knocked him down. I think Shields just wants to get to the ground that badly. He just he kind of pulled Ray on top of him. That's one way to take away that big punching power of Ray Cooper the third, the 25-year-old. A, a little cut over the right eye of Jake Shields. Like that little Kimura. short shot must have landed. Is he going? Oh no. Yep. Okay. I think he's he's got that, Randy. Wow. Good eye. He's going to stay the Rick Story throw over. Oh no. I thought he was going to grab the leg and throw him over. Well, this is absolutely Jake Shields' world right here. Yeah. This is where he loves to be. This is where he won a lot of his fights. He's forcing guys to grapple with him. He's methodical. He's just going to keep working and working and working and improving his position little bits at a time. And there you see Ray Cooper Jr. who fought Jake Shields some 15 years ago when his 11-year-old son, Ray Cooper III, walked him into the cage. Boss fighting Jake Shields is, is never fun for anybody because he's a grinder. He, he will get you down there and he will just frustrate you and force you into bad situations. That's it. He doesn't have a nickname. I always thought about Diesel. That would be a great name for him the because Diesel. he just keeps on coming. He will never stop. Super tough. And Here, always Jake is going to continue yeah. to scramble. Yep. Ray Cooper did a nice job of controlling Jake Shields' head and teeing it up and trying to knock it off. If he can, there's that little yeah. left hook again. again. Same little left punch wow. that absolutely got Jake Shields' attention. That back, he should simply walk away now. Yeah, why make not? Jake Shields get yeah. up, absolutely. Yeah. Why play with a guy that good on the ground here? Back up, make him get up. You catch an up kick right shot. here, could end your night as Ray Cooper the third weighing his options here. Holding the tail of a tiger, and they go back to their feet. Cooper doing a nice job of circling that left underhook, getting his hips off the fence. Making it difficult for Shields to trap him. Cup check. Watch out, he's gonna get tripped. Ray Cooper's gotta pay attention. Those little cup checks, 
Those little cup checks don't, 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 come on. He's wearing a cup for a reason. Not intentional as the height difference is six feet for Jake Seals, five, seven for Ray Cooper, the third, as Jake was just bringing those knees up, trying to land in the midsection. You know, going down to the ground with him, maybe that's the inexperience here, the difference. Right? Ready? Why would you go to down to the ground? Just walk away. Well, you know, you know how it is. Fighters get excited, yeah. especially when he thinks he may have just hurt Jake Shields. He, you know, he wants to stay on him, stay on his face. Yeah, you look at the face of Jake Shields. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's been a five-round war already. And Ray Cooper, the third, saying, I'll take that and then some. Suddenly turned into Friday the 13th here in the PFL. Oh, big right, right hand. Oh, just nice misses. takedown. Took him right off of his feet. Look for him to threaten the neck. Got to be careful. Shields is very slick there. Boy, he's just got really powerful short punches. He is very powerful. Very powerful young man. Ray Cooper the third. He's cut Jake Shields over both eyes now. Let's not forget, guys, that Ray Cooper the third, all 13 of his wins have ended in early finishes. Now you can see why the damage he's done here in less than five minutes already on a veteran like Jake Shields. Another nice takedown. Wow. Sat Look at almost this. like a switch. He, he sat and trapped the lead leg of Jake Shields and set him right on his back. Good cross side position. Settled in. Kneeing the body. Especially with explosive power like he has. Put an arm again, but Cooper's not going to give it to him. Well, there's been some great Hawaiian fighters come up to the ranks of the MMA, and we may be seeing Ray Cooper, the third's name, added to that list. Full guard now by Jake Shields from the bottom position. He's as slick and dangerous as anybody from down here. Ray Cooper has to be very attentive. Final 10 seconds, a little premature on the clock there. Yeah, or, or clock on the TV is off by 10 seconds because... And it was. So that comes early as Jake Shields suffers the most damage clearly on that eye, and that came in the first 15 seconds of the fight. Short little hooks by Ray Cooper does a really, really nice job of catching Jake Shields trying to come in and get his hands on Ray Cooper. Reminder, Saturday skateboarding's elite bring their best tricks to the California coast. Due tour Long Beach, that's Saturday, 2.30 Eastern, only on NBC. So we welcome you back to Washington, D.C. here for the final fight of the night. Todd Harris, Randy Couture, Eve Edwards, Boss Root, and Caroline Pearson. Guys, this was the scramble. This is where the cut happened early in round one. Look at this. Slow mo oh. kaboom. That almost hurts Ray worse Cooper slow dropping the bomb. Doing a nice job of controlling Jake Shields' head, not allowing Jake Shield to penetrate in on that leg and pull him out and down, put him on the bottom. Ray Cooper, really, really smart, patient there. Jake Shields with 42 ready. professional ready. fights, guys. If you're in his corner, what do you tell him that he doesn't already know? I mean, he's composed. I don't think he's flustered. He, he obviously not tired. He's got to just keep working, be patient, and, and eventually hope to get where he wants to be. Yeah. There's the double leg attempt. Cooper doing a nice job of sprawling hard. Again, attacking the neck. Wow, and, and then a short the little left hook again. A mouthpiece flew out. I'm not sure it looks to be Ray Cooper's mouthpiece. No. Cooper Jake doing a nice job. Well, Shields has his mouthpiece in. It was... And there's his wife, Kelly. Kelly, the high school state wrestling champ, asked Ray, whose voice do you hear when you're in there? He goes, definitely my dad's. And his brother, Blake, also attempt. a great wrestler. Jake Shields with the up. Again, I think Ray Cooper would be smart to just Step back away. up and make Jake Shields stand up. Well, play this game. This is Jake's there's game. There's the up kick already, and yeah. it touches him. It could go wrong. Plus, he's given a chance to recover. He's going to try and throw those feet by and come down with a big shot on top of Jake Shields. And I just don't, I just, I think he's better off making this kid stand up with him. Or kid, 39 year old. 39 years old. I can call him a Compared kid. Compared to us, yeah. <laughs> he's a kid. Defense. 
Cooper very composed. Doing a great job for a 25-year-old kid. We'll yep, again. Yeah, he's a kid. He's you a know kid. what he can do also? <laughs> Grab the legs and knee the thighs of the legs now. He sprawls really well. He controls and attacks Jake's neck when Jake tries to get in on that single or double leg. Look at this. There he Curves goes. This jab. is exactly what Why I not? think he should do. I think that's a perfect smart car move. right there. Very smart move. Make this guy bang. Make this guy stand with me. Nice. Wow. Oh, oh, left man. connects. Jake, Jake Shields, Shields is in, in trouble. trouble. That was a big left hook. Very short, very choppy, and Jake's feet went right out from underneath of him. Just clipped and him, and now Ray Cooper's going to hammer him home. Ray Cooper to step in here. That is it. That's it right the there. Ray, Ray Cooper, Cooper the third says aloha. Avenges his father's loss from 14 years ago. Pretty amazing. I, I don't think I've ever seen Jake Shields hurt like that. That's some crazy power. We're going to hear a lot from Ray Cooper the third. Joe Martinez has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Two minutes, nine seconds, round number two. Stoppage due to strikes for your winner by TKO. He also wins five points tonight. Ray Bradford Cooper! Great sportsmanship there as Ray Cooper the third gets together with Jake Shields. We take a look at Cage Genomics. Boss Rutten will be in the cage momentarily. Randy, look at this. Strikes landed and thrown. All the big numbers on the throne, obviously, with the hands in favor of Ray Cooper. Leg strikes going the way which you expect from Jake Shields. But the two takedowns from Ray Cooper, he went into Jake Shields' world and was successful. Yeah, I was surprised by that. Absolutely surprised by that. And I think we saw the turning point in the fight when he stepped back and made Jake Shields stand up. After a compelling night, we go back inside the cage. Boss Rutten is with young Ray Cooper III. A rubber match, 14 years in the making, right? If you think about it. What a performance. I mean, you dominated right away from the first round. When he went to the ground, you stood in the guard. We all go like, you just heard him walk away, but you just stayed there. Was that the plan? Yeah, my dad telling me to stand up, but I know I'm good on the ground. I know I get good ground. It's because everybody talked. Like, I don't, I don't believe anybody what they say. I don't care. I know I get the best ground. My dad is, he beat me up every day. My brother beats me up. My other brother beats me up. These are the best guys in the world I get to train with, and I train with them at home. Well, you said yesterday that you were a pressure fighter, and you're going to put pressure on in this fight. You did exactly what you were going to do. Yep. I never get him in the first round. I kind of went after him too fast. Jake is a tough guy. He weathered a lot of big, big kind storms. I knew I could hit harder than anybody he fought. I knew I could put the pressure than anybody he fought, so I knew I was going to come out the win. Just a matter of time. You're always your worst critic, your own critic, right? Is there something that you already can tell right now? You know, I could, I could do a little better there. Yeah, I should have picked my punches more. I could have, instead of stay on top of him, I should have went inside, passed his guard because I could. I passed it in the first round, and I was picking my punches. I was kind of going a little bit wild. I wasn't landing, but. Uh, we'll work on it. Okay, you have a garage down below in the home. That's where you train in the garage. It's all built up like it, like a gym. When you win a million bucks, is that going to change? You're going to say, you know, I'll build one next to the house. Uh, maybe, but I'm going to take one fight at a time. I'm going to be there in the end. I don't know who else is going to be there, but whoever you guys put in front of me, I'm going to run through them. All right. Thank you very much. It was a great performance. Oh, you want to say something? Here we go. Thank, thank you to my sponsors, Hawaii's Finest. Oh, Lele, I love you, Ba. All my family back home, my granny, my papa, my mama, my papa Joe, papa Kai, all my aunties, uncle, Auntie Kim, Uncle Ron, everybody back home, my wife, my mom, my dad, Auntie Kapoor, Uncle Curry, everybody, all my family back home on the property. All my Uncle Kai, then, Auntie Kim, Uncle Ron, I love you guys. I love all you guys. Ray Cooper the third, ladies and gentlemen, back to you, Todd and Randy.